Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics. Now we are in module 3. This is a much coveted module where you want to talk about causality. And in the previous two modules, we actually talked about correlational studies. We have built our regression model, we have done different diagnostics, but we have remained in the domain of correlation. And at the beginning of our lecture, if you remember, we very clearly outlined the difference between correlation and causality. And we said that causality is an elusive concept and we usually do not talk about causality as much, but we all want to actually achieve causality. And causality is something that is not just in economics, but in any other discipline, physics, science, any other uh, scientific discipline, we all are actually looking for causality. Okay? So, this is what we are going to talk about in this module. So, it is going to be uh, of two week, this week and the coming week. And we will talk about causality mostly in two types of research. So, we will search causality in observational studies, studies and in experiments. So, how are these two concepts are different? So, in observational studies what happens is that the data is collected by maybe a third party or you can you the researcher himself or herself can collect the data, but essentially you do not do anything actively, you basically passively collect data. You just go to the field, you ask some questions, you collect data and you, you can collect data for different time periods also. You can collect data you know using multiple sources also, but essentially the whole mode of data collection remains very passive. Okay? So, let us say this observational studies. It is a passive data collection where data is collected from multiple single or multiple sources or it may be data may be collected by the researcher or by a third party by researcher or a third party. But the whole point remains is that is passive data collection. I do not I do not design any experiment here. And you know, uh, for example, we can you know, think about the data collected by National Sample Survey in India, and then we use the data and we sort of you know uh, use, use our research question, use the data to sort of in ensure that there are compatibility, like the data we use is actually addressing the research question we have. Now, what are the tools and techniques that we are going to talk about when we talk about causality? So, the tools that we are going to talk about. We will be talking about things like instrumental variable, which is actually a very sort of interesting concept, but it is very difficult to find an instrumental variable. So, essentially we will see some, it is kind of a natural experiment, we sort of try to mimic uh, our experiment that we can perhaps do, uh, but we, but it is very difficult to do natural experiment. So, if we get a good instrument, we can actually mimic that experiment. So, instrumental variable is very important. We will also talk about structural equation modeling. Where we see a series of events when you know x leads to y, y leads to z and something and we try to find out how strongly these different events are actually uh, related. And that will actually talk about causality, a lot of what is actually leading to y. Then we will talk about things like matching. So, matching is another important concept, we sort of try to match those observations which are very close, which, which look similar, which are identical, compare these two groups and we will ensure that all the uh, conditions applied on two groups are almost equal and we will see the, you know, the some in, you know, impact of some intervention at, uh, at, at different time points and that is how we use matching. So, there are a lot of uh, techniques involved to ensure that the two groups that we are studying are almost similar. We can also use regression discontinuity designing, uh, regression discontinuity design or diff in diff. So, these are basically tool, different tools and techniques that we will be using. The other, uh, other concept that I talked about is the experiment. Experiment is very interesting in economics. So, we know clinical trial, right? So, in clinical trial what happens and this is a very old concept. In clinical trial, what happens is that you take subjects like two groups and perhaps you just, you have a new medicine you have discovered 
and what you do is you you know both the groups are subjected to that same medicine and at the beginning of the study you ensure the two groups that you have selected are almost identical or if possible they are just identical now once you have these two groups what you do is you you put them in the same condition like you do not vary any other condition except the treatment that you are doing that is except the drug or anything that you are actually giving to them so one group gets that drug and another group does not get that drug right and then you sort of allow certain time period to elapse to see if that drug is actually you know what is the impact of the drug on the on the group of people who, who is subjected to that uh, treatment right and that is how you sort of try to understand the real the true impact of some intervention now you need to sort of take care of many other things factors that may actually uh, you know uh, influence your experiment for example uh, the control group actually knows that treatment is happening so there might be some sort of you know they might actually adopt some practice and some, you know so many other things so those external conditions you need to or the conditions coming out of the experiment you need to control so this is uh, something that is really really very powerful uh, concept and that actually uh, we can convincingly argue about causality uh, in experiment so let's say this is a treatment group this is my control group and i do an intervention to the treatment group and then i sort of control the environment i'm using different colors so that it looks good control the environment and then i allow some time period to elapse and then i see the treatment group at some you know at t1 time control group at t1 time and i basically look at the differences so the the previous concepts also that i that we talked about like matching or uh, regression discontinuity design diff and diff also we use you know in in this kind of control trial experiment so this is basically called randomized control trial which is a very powerful concept so we'll talk about this concepts in this third module so along with this along with this we also talk about some topics that we wanted to cover uh, maybe we'll be brief on this concept so one is that we wanted to talk about logistics regression we have not yet familiarized you with the idea of logistics regression and second we'll also talk about the concept of parametric and non parametric so far we have been talking all the different tools techniques these are all parametric because they are coming from some known distribution and non parametric is basically where you don't know the distribution so we'll talk about these differences a little bit finally in this module we are also going to talk about couple of things which i promised that i will cover but i really didn't cover it yet one is that minimum detectable effect so this is something is very important when we actually do some experiment design and this is actually going to be relevant for our third module and finally we'll also talk about something that is uh really intriguing and that is the difference in the field econometrics and machine learning machine learning is an emerging field and people are often trying to sort of see what machine learning can do so it is important that we should also have some idea between how the boundaries of economics and econometrics and machine learning is actually if there are intersections how much you can do with each other okay so we sort of try to see that possibilities so this is going to be broadly the ambit of module 3 and i'm really excited to actually take you in the journey of in module 3 there are a lot of exciting concepts and topics we're going to talk about and i can't wait to start module 3 uh, let's begin